Welcome to another episode of Hard Factor. It's What the Fuck Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021, episode number 637. I'm Will. We got Mark, Pat, and Wes, the full crew of Hard Factor News in the house. Uh, and like we called yesterday, uh, Biden did indeed, President Biden did indeed cancel Dr. Seuss from the Read Across America program on Dr. Seuss's birthday, March 2nd. So if you stand with Dr. Seuss, you can buy the Come and Take It Cat in the Hat shirt at hardfactor.com. It's a winner of a shirt, but the Dr. Seuss debate is hot in the streets. You guys, you guys see, check that out. What's going yeah. on? A lot of feelings. Four years after Kamala uh, tweeted that she a uh, happy birthday to him, she cancels him. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a, it's, it seems to be a big movement. A lot big of, line in the sand for a lot, a lot of, people. of Dr. Seuss books is, and a lot of, you know, people's bookshelves for their kids and stuff. Now they're going to be. I, I know I had the, a bunch. Uh, in the fireplace because you know but they'll <laughs> serve a different purpose keep you warm oh if See, you're burning a dr seuss book you are on well it's so level. funny because now it's going to be a thing right it's going to be people who actually read it still and people who don't i'm definitely on the read it still train yeah. but wasn't it just some books it wasn't all books. Yeah, no no books. uh no no, no, no. It's six it's six books well biden removed dr seuss from the read across america program well, that should was dr. Seuss, for him on his birthday should dr seuss really be on the read across america program i feel like there should be some more books. challenging books than that well he was named dr. after him on his birthday dr seuss's it's own kids. own like um, uh he's uh, the trust. greatest american kid writer like so dr seuss's own trust removed like six books there's some right the virginia there are few, there's a few books with some questionable uh imagery uh not not the yes, main ones erase them from history to, uh, mark twain's probably next <laughs> you know like i was saying declaration of independence that's a good one get rid of that constitution oh, well. you're Might right well. you're right well we should always yeah. keep everything including if it's hateful because it's you know right, we should, we should all, when we should all look Seuss at it all the time so hateful he's Jesus the most Christ. hateful guy can we move on with the honestly. show can we move on with the show really hateful stuff Jesus, Cuomo, you're, you're, you were Cu stuck on this huh cuomo has more allegations and creepy <laughs> videos emerging seems like he makes every sexual uh reference possible whatever he's breathing like in like so there's a covid video where he like hits on the nurse giving him a covid exam there's the, the hot dog video from yesterday there's more shit i don't know this is i gotta tell you stuff. i was in the uh, pharmacy uh yesterday and uh the, they had the new york post which i'd never seen in print it's pretty cool but uh the the headline was handsy andy mm -hmm. that's the, pretty that's, great that's the headline today. I well, they the they stole that from Hard Factor because we said um, the hands of Cuomo are upon you. So they took that directly from our podcast. And then we've taken it. quite a bit from the New York Post. We can. We That's can, true. We'll it's let like, them have it's a, give, it's a give and take. We have That's a true. Yeah. A, I plagiarized them many times. A symbiotic. <laughs> yeah, if there's a list in the New York Post, you can almost yeah, guarantee love, it's Wes's story. Yeah, we yeah. love yeah. we love doing funny stories. The New York Best Post. Best money I've yeah. ever spent. Speaking of not the New York Post, CNN, uh, Chris Cuomo at CNN says he can't cover it, but CNN will cover the Andrew Cuomo story, which they do continue to largely ignore. So, what, you know, what is he like a doctor? that can't operate on his child like, i can't it? touch this yeah but, but, but it's hard but they can, but they won't. integrity when you're and it's your brother yeah yeah True. uh the nike exec uh with the idiot son resigned too so that's uh she had that. resigned when we did the story yeah she, oh okay oh really oh, i yeah, thought okay. it came out to west coast larry was it well she didn't resign west she coast, got fucking joe, joe. west coast it, it, joe. she resigned officially though afterwards no she i quit. know but the, they're usually not they a press release. They the fired her. Right, exactly. It, the, it was the, like uh, a, they signed the they signed the, the the contract of removal today. Put it on my desk. Yeah. Phil I Knight asked, said, uh, "Put it on my desk." I asked yeah. Trinidad to come on the show yesterday, and he was like, "Bro, about are you sneakers." Kidding? He was like, "Are you kidding? This is I I, I can't because he has his own sneaker show. He's like, I, I right. can't come on your show and talk sneakers before I talk sneakers. So I'm excited to see TJ's take on it because <laughs> apparently it's a big fucking deal in the sneaker world." Right. Well, it has to be. It's like the hottest story of the year. What could be bigger than that in the sneaker world? Not much. That's no, huge. Not yeah. much. Uh, all right. Well, we got a bunch of stories to get through on this What the Fuck Wednesday. Most of them listeners submitted. Thank you in the heart of Hive for submitting all these excellent stories. Pat, mm -hmm. get us going. Yeah. And before I do, well, to answer your question, what would be bigger in the sneaker world? Um, if the Uyghurs stopped making them, guys, Pope Francis continues to be the wokest religious man to walk the earth since resurrection Jesus because he suggested that there's another great flood coming guys but this time it's because of global warming mm. damn but woke woke Francis that's woke Francis guys Francis <laughs> is so into climate change that he's saying there's a a, a, a world ending flood coming no he's he's Noah and you got to get in his ark. Nope, it's not like that, Will. You it's just not? wait to find out. Uh, okay. You can be Noah. Uh, oh, 
Oh, you guys. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm all ears. Okay. Doesn't Here's science you... just like, you know, go disprove a lot of what, what, what he's trying to push? Really, Wes, you're one of those science disproves global warming situation No, guys? I'm talking about uh, like, you know, the religion ark. and the, the religion flood? and all oh, that. Oh, science. Kind of stuff. <laughs> science disproves the entire Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what I was going with. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's what's so fun about it. The Pope's proclamation, guys, uh, comes from an excerpt in a forthcoming book length interview with a fellow man of the cloth. And the Pope said, we're facing, quote, a great deluge, perhaps due to a rise in temperature and the melting of the glaciers. What will happen now if we continue on the same path? He's asking. Mm -hmm. And uh, the 84 year old said that in the story of the great flood in the Bible, God used his wrath to punish injustice and, quote, clean up the world, killing everyone except for Noah, implying that maybe if you don't recycle or get a Prius, then you're not going to get on the ark. So if you want to be Noah, all you got to do is respect our environment. This doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. playing, I mean, to, to make it like he's trying to, it doesn't make sense. He's saying he's every, man, sides. every man could be a Noah if he knows how to recycle correctly. That's the message. It doesn't uh, make any sense at all. I think he's senile is what's going on here. Perhaps, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say something pretty controversial here, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the most progressive take in the history of takes, because if you think about it, the spiritual leader of one sixth of the world's population, who also happens to be on a text thread with God, said that if you're a climate denier, Wes, or a deadbeat, not a climate, climate denier, <laughs> that you're going to get smited by Jesus himself. I mean, damn, that what a that's a fucking woke take, bro. Well, like, sure, but he's but like it has nothing to do. Like he's like you could be Noah if you just buy a Prius. That's fucking ridiculous. That's the implied. He didn't actually say Prius, but that's, that's if you read between okay, the lines. Well, no, it, well, it's it's like uh, the Dos Equis commercial, whatever, or like the find your own beach. He's saying find your own Noah. You know, like recycle more, buy your own Prius, be your own Noah. That's what he's saying. Yeah, he's saying that if you if you don't, then you're gonna die in the flood. You're gonna uh, die right. from the wrath of God. Yeah. yeah. Well, Woke he's Francis. In, yeah. He's in Toyota's pocket is what he is. Yeah, that would be the biggest ad of all time. Remember when uh, right. Stipowitz did, I don't do ads, he did one for like Sprite or whatever. If uh, the Pope did an ad for Priuses. Yeah, I mean, this is, he that would be huge. Did. This is even huge yeah. for like uh, old rentals of uh, Evan Almighty. I mean, they're going to shoot, everything Noah is going through the roof after this, guys. Uh, and in other I mean, news. I don't know about that. You think people are like taking this like word like, oh, shit. No, Bro. it seems like it seems like a nothing. <laughs> seems like a nothing. <laughs> I don't think anybody fucking cares. As Wes alluded to, uh, they believe the Bible. So yeah, I think they're taking it at, uh, at a, as a pretty valuable word. Well, guys, in other news, uh, an iceberg larger than New York City broke off Antarctica, and Catholics in New Orleans and St. Louis were told by the archdiocese to avoid the Johnson and Johnson vaccine because its early development used quote morally compromised cell lines created from two separate abortions so uh what? don't so they're against stem cells but they're for g clean energy yeah there you go it's okay quite that makes a lot of sense Catholic well will Church. and that's why that's why i decided to take it to play take it to one of my least favorite places on the internet which is the daily wire comment section and guys i'm trying something a little bit different here today instead of going through like we normally do and picking the top comments or the funniest i just grabbed the first four because i know the other 800 are going to be more or less the same mm. and here we go iqa says uh bergoglio which is uh, pope francis is a leftist political activist he preaches the anti-gospel of Karl marx he's a globalist and a sham Ooh. and then uh eunice pope thunberg yeah you, well <laughs> they get to that mark <laughs> eunice expuxio said you think the pope would have at least read the bible considering your average elementary age sunday school kid knows this part of the story uh implying that god said there would not be another flood matt noly said well, to be fair of the rainbow, which God provided as proof of his covenant, that's been uh, co-opted by the LGBT community so you could understand the confusion. And then <laughs> Alivero Neto says, the footnote says we have to listen to a coming of age Swedish teenage girl. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. Yeah. Listen, yeah. until the Pope cleans up the like egregious acts by the leaders of his church, right. I'm not going to listen to him Hard tell to me to him buy seriously. a Prius. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah they exactly. Had a two-day conference for the whole <laughs> sex scandal. Probably, yeah. probably could have been longer. Yeah, uh, but he needs to. I mean, he's he's treading the line with the whole you know uh, gay friendly and and climate change. Now. You thought he was gay friendly because he was all like, well, yeah, "Yeah, I'm cool with gay marriage." And then he was like, "Wait, more, not so fast. What did I say?" And then he recanted it. More so. friendly than China. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Oh yeah. We'll get to that. Um, yeah. we'll get- <laughs> and if that, right. if that gets you down, guys, you know what'll get you up? Blue mm. Chew, oh, which yeah. is the sponsor of this episode. Say it with us. Blue Chew. Chew. Guys, Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and uh, have longer lasting erections, which who doesn't want that? Uh, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it's chewable. Come on. And at a fraction of the cost, guys, Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder and stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. That's arrest, erectile dysfunction. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's an online prescription service, guys. So you don't have to go to the doctor. No awkward convos. You just get on there, talk to a doctor, and bam, Blue Chew is at your door. Uh, process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with the physician and, you know, boners. Uh, licensed medical providers guys they work with you so it's it's not it's not phony it's legit uh if you don't like swallowing pills no problems there blue chew uh is chewable as i said so if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information (laughs) we've got a special deal for our listeners try blue chew free holy what free Mm. when you use our promo code hard factor that's one word at check pretty good promo code for blue chew yeah yeah that's true Mm -hmm. it's what you're gonna be hard factor yeah and then it's the thing that made you that way so it's the factor that made you hard think about it guys uh pay just five bucks shipping that's bluetooth.com promo code hard factor so for five bucks which includes the shipping you're getting all the uh all the hard erections that you can handle and your lady or your man or whoever you give your erections to i give them to myself mostly uh and you get your first month free thanks uh, blue chew for sponsoring this podcast a match made in heaven speaking of heaven you, you can recycle the, the plastic package it comes in when you're done with it so you, you you're you're acting like a you noah be, you could be can, okay in woke yeah, francis's yeah. book all right guys this one came in from a lot of people mike our interns my wife tim a on discord and it started with most people sending in the breaking story that texas governor Greg Abbott declared that COVID was over. He said, "We here in Texas, they look at him. Woo! There he so is. look Woo. at him celebrate." <laughs> he said, "He said we here in Texas are done with COVID, and starting Wednesday, March 10th, all businesses of all types will be allowed to open at 100% capacity without any restrictions, including masks. No more mask mandate in the state." Um, and so then he also uh, announced these things at a Tuesday press conference to raucous applause. And then he did a mic drop, popped a wheelie and did a 360 in his chair. Uh, there, you, you, <laughs> I mean, all, everybody's excited yeah. for this, right? Oh, all snowstorm no, shit will be forgiven if he gets my son back in school. Everything will be there forgiven. You well, you're okay. Okay. Even if, if you're in Texas, you got to be excited. that You can get, get out and get to do shit. If you're not in Texas, we get to watch you guys be the guinea pigs. It's a good. It's a great thing. All right. terrible. Well, great, it's fucking great. horrible. It's he celebrating said, the race before it's over. Yeah, it's, it's a little early, in my opinion, too. Uh, turns out it wasn't just crazy Greg Abbott, though, and crazy Texas. Uh, as a few hours later, Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves one-upped Abbott by tweeting out, starting tomorrow, which is uh, six days. <laughs> a week earlier. <laughs> a week earlier. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> it's the red wave. Did you we're, say 92% effective? <laughs> well, we're 93. <laughs> Tate Reeves said, starting tomorrow, we are lifting all our county mask mandates and businesses will be open to operate at full capacity without any state-imposed rules or hospitalization and case numbers have plummeted and the vaccine is being rapidly distributed at this time. Those last parts are true. Like the rates are going down. The vaccine is being distributed. Like Pat said, isn't it like then just give it like another month. What the fuck? Anyways. Uh, OK, that's Texas and Mississippi. But wait, there's more. Bubba. Mm. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, because this one's a screamer. Well, wait, there's what I just I wrote that line and then I want I remembered that line from scary movie that Sean Wayne's making fun of Matthew Lillard's over the top character from Scream. Mm. Just a great, great little skit there. It has nothing to do with anything. So where's the more? 
Uh, the more is that at the time of this recording, several other states announced they would be easing up on COVID restrictions like Arkansas, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, even Michigan, who has a governor that was almost kidnapped for her COVID restrictions yeah. well, she implemented. So Massachusetts was one of the first places to be almost done with lockdown. That's a very Democratic place. Exactly. So, it's yeah. not all red states and red governors. It is important to mention that those other states I mentioned aren't 100 percent open and they haven't gotten rid of all of the mask mandates, but they are easing restrictions, 50 percent, 75 percent stuff like that yeah. so what gives why are all these states ignoring the cdc and dr fauci who came out this week and said uh hey we have been going down to rates but the uk variant's about to fuck us up the ass so let's you know wait until these more people get vaccinated to ease up on restriction every state What's, that lifts restrictions a fauci it's, gets a hemorrhoid it's called yeah. spring springtime yeah it's springtime i was told to get a but COVID summer's test coming. today uh and i just i'm not going to not going to get a COVID test. Remember when no. they said that the heat okay, well, would, would make it don't go need away? It. Makes sense. <laughs> don't need it. I feel fine. He gave me some pills. He was like, hey, get a COVID test. I'm like, well, maybe the pills will take care of it. He's like, well, still get a COVID test because it could be COVID. Right. It's took, like, took the pills. Feel great. Don't have COVID. Are you going to? OK, don't have, are you, you're like you, you're like a teenager who's too too afraid to get tested for gonorrhea. It's you're like a guy. Be, you're like a guy who's having sex with someone. No, like, I'm just I, good. I probably I don't, don't have AIDS. I don't need to go schedule a test just, and then go out. and Knows his own body. Yeah, I'm good. I feel great. No COVID for Will. No, my um, So why are they? Why are they doing this? I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's spring. You guys think it's spring? Yeah, it's spring. Everyone's fucking tired of it's it. Is what's I happening? Mean, I mean, yeah, we're done with this shit. But we're doing so well. Why don't we wait till like one more month and then this summer Memorial Day coming up in May and then Fourth nope. of July? No, nope, it's how, time, Mark. Well, you know what's you... gonna fucking happen? We're gonna be locked down again this summer because of this bullshit. Well, nah, maybe, maybe put the maybe olds not. away and we'll be fine. Okay. Can maybe, someone at least not. tell Universal Pictures that Texas is fully open so we can get the fucking James Bond movie? When the hell is that thing yeah. coming out? Wouldn't you prefer Look that it the would right just, side of this thing. just When's come that out on out? HBO? Because that because like the longer well, you wait. Yeah. But there either way, can you just release the James Bond movie regardless still of all Daniel this Craig? Stuff? Yes, it's his last one. I think. Hell yeah. I was hoping no they time would give it to, to die. Idris Elba. He would be a yeah. badass James Bond. He almost got it, but they kept Kept yeah, arguing. that was a yeah that that yeah, that was a controversial one. But that that's it. I mean, a lot of states are, a lot of states are opening up. A lot of states. That was a real Doctor Seuss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right. Cool. That's it. Thank you. A good, good, great yeah. news from 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 Abbott. I'm I'm uh, if I, I get a call about Abbott, I'm giving him high high scores. We'll see. Oh my God, Wes. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, Pat. Yeah, I think we're split. I think we're split. I think we're split evenly on that. So he's a yeah. human trash habit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no. Well, yeah, I watch mean, cuties. If it if it blows up into a giant like go watch death, cuties. If it blows up into a giant death fiasco, then everybody yeah. can say, "I told you so." No Abbott, way that but, could happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I yeah. I mean, from as a, as a casual observer in a different state, it's not going to. I'm lockdown. rooting for it to go well. It's. Just, I'm like, I'm going to watch this. It shit. seems like we're close. Yeah. It just seems a little a little early. Just a little early. We're close. The vaccines are going out there, you know. But we can well, have it now, Mark. Yeah, I mean, no, you have it now. G Greg yeah. Abbott said so. Next yeah, week, that's happening. You have Come it. Come on down. You have it now. Texas is open for business. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fellas, we're gonna move it along to another segment. I'm gonna call. Look at this photograph. Just because it's just about badass photographs, and the first one comes from Big Ounce. Thank you, Big Ounce. And uh, I'm not gonna put the space helmet on because we don't need to leave our planet to enjoy the view of the first ever recorded space hurricane. Bubba, if you could show the fellas the picture. Whoa. That's a space hurricane. Check that shit out. That, that looks like the Green damn. Lantern. Yeah, that is badass. It's literally a green Aurora Borealis hurricane occurring over the North Pole of the of the globe. Is what that gold spitting out of it? No, it's plasma in the in the lower orbit. It's incredible. So that's pla it, it's plasma energy in the lower orbit creating the green hurricane aurora borealis over the north pole coolest thing like coolest picture i've ever seen what the fuck does pope francis have to say about that yeah right exactly so, something's going right in the body if you look really closely between this line and that line and you read them backwards and uh, well don't, drunk it's for told the bible tell francis yeah that's how uh, i want to die by the way i would gladly get eaten up space, by a space, space hurricane. hurricane yes that would be cool also if you're looking for a name like the, the washington space hurricanes like a football team name well and know. your picture is yeah. incredible so it's for the first time ever they've spotted a space hurricane spinning above the north pole According to a new study, the, it's roughly 600 miles wide, which you saw there in the picture, swirling uh, masses of plasma located several hundred miles above the North Pole, and it rained down electrons instead of water, which has created that green glow, the Aurora Borealis effect. Uh, it actually, actually happened back in 2014, 
and they caught it on reviewing footage during a during like a study. Uh, so here's what the scientist said. He said plasma and magnetic fields in the atmosphere of planets exist throughout the universe. So the findings suggest space hurricanes should be a widespread phenomenon. So they, these space hurricanes are happening all the time. We just don't see them because we can't see them. Yeah, Miami should really think about changing their name to Space Hurricanes because yeah, space hurricanes is pretty offensive. Space hurricanes can't offend anyone. There's just yeah, because no one's died of a space hurricane. Not yet, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. You fast forward three hundred years, you never know. You can make billions in merch money before you have to change it because too many people died of space hurricanes. Right, yeah. the franchise will probably like live and die in that period before yeah. it gets canceled. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Good point, Pat. Next cool picture comes from intern Cam. Scientists have discovered glowing sharks deep in the ocean. Oh, great. So, you see that? That is a <laughs> actual bioluminescent shark. Researchers in New Zealand have discovered three new species of, sh of shark, including the kite fin, which is what you guys just saw. Uh, they all glow in the deep water. The kite fin is the biggest of the three sharks they discovered, and it can grow up to about six feet. So that's good news. It probably can't eat you whole. That would be terrifying. Imagine a glowing shark eating you. Like you'd be yeah. lulled to sleep by the beauty of the glow, and then you'd just be dead. It's like an x ray. You just see your, your, there's a human being inside the glowing shark. <laughs> Those <laughs> deep shit. sharks are no. Those deep <laughs> sharks are no threat to us. They, they eat like little shit. You're correct, Wes. This thing lives about a kilometer below the surface. Is it science, naturally occurring, Will, or is. or is it our fault? No, it's naturally occurring, bioluminescence. What these guys do, the kite fin sharks, they use that bioluminescence to light up what the scientists think. They they think they use it to light up the ocean floor down there, a kilometer deep into the ocean. So like a flashlight, they can see crustaceans, smaller fish and shit uh, down on the floor, and then they're they just, eat it. Oh, the partiers of, partiers of the deep. Yeah, so they're have like those time. those fish with the light bulb that have the huge claw, uh, teeth. Yeah, but their whole body, their whole the body bulb. does that. Yeah, yeah oh, exactly. Bro. They're like they're like Neptune's night security team. Like you oh, know, yeah, Neptune yeah. is rolling oh, yeah. with a whole he school loves, of those dudes. He yeah. loves the kite fin Once shark. Once you see the lights coming, Neptune and his, oh. and his he probably oh, did he up. probably get some to like swim underneath his chariot so it looks like he has ground effects. That's oh. Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they're same, the, the, same God. They're the rails yeah. on the side of his Poseidon God. rolling up on us. Yeah. But this this brought up an interesting question. What do you guys think is scarier, space or the ocean, the deep ocean? Because they're both terrifying. How can you possibly answer that question? I don't know. I don't know. I whichever mean, it, what, whichever one I had to interact with first, deep space. You die is, instantly. Yeah, yeah, the, the ocean. ocean. Yeah, space yeah. is hopeless, though. Like, if you're in space and you're in trouble, like, you're done. If you're in the ocean and you're in trouble, like, you could, like, see James Cameron rolling around with Jacques Cousteau's son or something in a deep right. sea vessel. Submarine. You, there's a shot. You, you have maybe a, a life. Uh, Elon Musk could pick you yeah, up in the well, lower atmosphere, maybe, or that new space hotel. I don't know. You're dead in, in either, and I don't know which one's more terrifying. I feel like space is so yeah. big that you're likely to not see as many terrifying things as you could probably see in the ocean before dying. That's mm -hmm. tough. They're both absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, you can see stuff coming in space, but the, in the ocean, it's it, well, you just you just die like your space suit. You like you you know you stop breathing in a few seconds. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um. All right, guys. Uh, jumped on the grenade here sent to us by uh, Dylon and the <laughs> wait uh, wait the by interns. who by who Dylon Dylan D Dylan Dylan. <laughs> you think D Y L A N is Dylon? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Top five rappers of all time. <laughs> Dylon, 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 Dylon. I thought Dylan was always D-I-L-L-O-N. That's the only Dylan I've ever known is D-I-L-L-O-N. I thought that's like a last name, Dylan, spelled that way. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. But a lot of people name uh, Dylan Thomas. That was, that was I think, D-I-L-L-O-N. Dylon, get over here, Dylon. <laughs> Thank you, sir, and the interns. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it is What the Fuck Wednesday, so uh, this is a pretty fucked up one. Um, it has to be some kind of awful yeah. record for most people to die in one car during an accident. Uh, so yesterday in uh, California, Southern California, about 12 miles from the Mexican border, a maroon uh, 1997 Ford Expedition carrying 25 people pulled out in front of a tractor trailer Whoa. holding two trailers. So this thing was like extra trailer because it was hauling two trailers so just well not like a, only a, that but there's extra people in a ford yeah. explorer yeah Wait. was it a limo the nope. expedition is the biggest ford or is it the excursion uh the excursion is now the biggest but back then the were they clowns was it a group of clowns i think we lost you know, west oh. what's that are you back are you back yeah i'm here all right 
Um, yeah, where is it? Circus performers? No, no. Um, I mean, so we'll get into it. And, the, you know, the, there's some we know spec- it it speculation on the board. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, the speculation. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the ages were very ranged. Um, so what happened is it, they think that it might have blown a stop sign. It happened about 6 a.m. Uh, in the, on a farmland highway in the middle of fucking nowhere. And the tractor trailer just T-boned the SUV. Bubba's got some pictures. Um, oh, oh, that's terrible. Fuck. Yeah. Everybody just, in the SUVs di- died. Over half of the occupants. Twelve oh. people. Twelve people died on the scene. So when when rescuers arrived there, like I said, it happened about six, six o'clock in the morning. When rescuers arrived there, 12 people were you know deceased on the scene. Another died at the hospital. They said that, like, you know, just awful scene. People were like bodies were strewn, strewn across the road. People were wandering in the in the fields because they were in shock, just disoriented from the injuries. It was like a fucking like zombie scene or it was just terrible. Um, it's like a perfect so, storm for for like a car crash. Yeah, it know? was the worst I mean, car to get hit in the yeah. United States today. Um, right. and, and, and it did. A, so bus, the, a bus full of people in a car. Exactly. Right. Getting um, smashed by a, a, a Mack truck. truck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just a tractor trailer. So um, the 22 year old driver was from Mexicali, Mexico. He died. The 69 year old man who was driving the tractor trailer received moderate injuries. Um, yeah. Uh, the, so the, it, looks, it looks like from the, the photos that the you know trailer tried to kind of slam his brakes, jackknifed, and then just took the car with it. The ages of the deceased were 20 to 55, injured 16 to 55. Um, so, yeah, the speculation is, is that this was a bunch of people just coming to the United States maybe to find a better life. Um, and this happened to them. Uh, who knows? They don't they haven't really released the, the total you know information of who these people were. But. Like Will said, pretty close to the Mexican border. You kind of six a.m. Yeah, six I mean, a.m. It, yeah, it's like it, all the pieces add up to that's probably what it was. Jesus, right. imagine, dude, the sh- what kind of shocks would you need? I mean, twenty five. How could the car even roll with twenty five people in it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, those cars have got to be like kind of tricked out in some ways to have all the compartments to fit people and stuff. Like it's it's interesting, but or or just like how do you conceal or or are you just hot like hot? And you're just hoping nobody sees. It was you. a one bag per person limit, Pat. Too soon. Six, twelve. Yeah, oh, I yeah. mean, for the weight. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. One bag per person. Yeah. Probably yeah. too soon for that joke. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Can you get any bags in there? Probably not. Twenty five. No. They're no, all dead. Move on. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Gonna back, I'm gonna back off. Sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah. Very sad. Uh, yeah, but it was big, sure. big news of the day. Uh, and hey, if that story bummed you out. I'm going to tell you how you can settle your nerves and chill with Mm. Caliper CBD packets. Mm. And let me tell you, when you're lying in bed worrying about all the shit that you have absolutely no control over, reach for some Caliper CBD to take your mind to a better place and get some sleep. Caliper is a high-quality CBD product that works and absorbs fast. Caliper CBD comes in affordable 30 and 60 count packets. It's completely THC, THC free, all the goodness of CBD with no high, all natural, no GMOs, no fillers, added chemicals, or artificial flavors. Get 20% off your first order when you use promo code FACTOR at trycaliper.com slash FACTOR. You can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's trycaliper.com slash FACTOR. Don't forget promo code FACTOR for 20% off your first order. Beauty. All right, boys, this next story is from uh, Mayor Dadbod, and um, it helps me introduce a new segment called I Might Be a Libertarian. All right. <laughs> it's I like, possible. I like this segment. OK, uh, are you? you? You might be after you hear this. A major and sweeping investigation has been concluded in Lake Winnebago, Wisconsin, mm. that involves corruption at the highest levels. Uh, this, according to the so- Associated Press, guys. Prosecutors have charged a Fond du Lac County bartender in a sweeping investigation into allegations that people around Lake Winnebago have been illegally processing sturgeon eggs into caviar. That's right. What? Yeah. Okay. Big story here, guys. Uh, sturgeon is what they use for caviar, though. Mm-hmm. So, yep. Mm-hmm. Well, but it's got to be all on the level. And I guess this wasn't. Okay. Nope. What- Okay. I, I, yeah, we'll get into it. Sean okay. Went, a bartender at Wentz. He owns the place, obviously, on uh, on the lake. It's my uh, dad's. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you own this place. Yeah. Uh, he was charged February 5th with two misdemeanor counts of illegally selling uh, game fish. And this was after a uniformed police officer smelled something fishy and started asking Sean about his delicious caviar. Mm. And Sean gave the officer a stream of information that is outlined in the 2800 word 
criminal complaint, which is very detailed, way too detailed. Sean faces up to a year in jail if he's convicted on both counts uh, for selling fish eggs. The guy sold fish eggs. So uh, I don't know if he like sexually abused the sturgeon or what he did to it. I don't think so. But apparently he might be in jail for a fucking year uh, and is also facing massive fines. Uh, right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Dude- Caviar is like a, is, is, a, is a crazy like black market business up there uh, in the north because there was another story uh, that we didn't uh, get to cover where like some local guy was like he was getting all the caviar and like shadily distributing it like around town. And he's also in trouble. Like, caviar is a big deal. Up there's there. a lot of regulations. Of there's a lot of regulations around selling caviar. Yeah, yeah, U.S. Like, caviar. Yeah. That, that they got from the fucking Lake Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> shut them down bro like the catholics (laughs) should get in on this they don't they don't want you eating fish eggs sorry bro uh can't eat that two years in fucking jail this guy went was literally just trying to spruce up his bar he didn't charge for the caviar he i guess just would harvest it however you fucking harvest caviar and then uh, which is probably traumatizing for the fish i'm not saying that's not the case but they're fish. see the sign it's name (laughs) it's my name it's my dad's he lets me have my friends over after hours sometimes though and we see we have a lot of fish eggs yeah it's wentz baby guys another couple victor and mary schneider are also charged with illegally processing sturgeon eggs because when went was getting interviewed by the cops he's like yeah my buddies mary all and victor also do it hey i'm done uh, but this criminal conspiracy doesn't stop there. Wisconsin's top sturgeon biologist, this Ryan, yeah, this is the guy, Ryan Konings, faces a misdemeanor uh, charge of allegedly lying to investigators who were looking into DNR employees collecting eggs and having them processed into caviar. The man took an oath. What is he thinking? This is why I might be a fucking libertarian. You can't in your own country harvest fish eggs and give them out at your bar without fucking getting arrested. Like it's the pandemic. What the fuck are you doing? Wasting oh, your goddamn time. It's terrible the shit people are getting busted for during this lockdown. These There's eggs like, aren't even that expensive. They're twenty, like fifty bucks an ounce. Like it's just so it's. it's what's petty what's shit. the reasoning? Is it because they're inhumanely collecting oh, them or something? It's against or? regulations. Yeah. But what's yeah, the yeah. What's the regulation for? The, the regulation is is you can't. Uh, I guess you have to have to be licensed. Yeah, or some licensed shit. To caviar to trade caviar or fish. I don't. It's like hunting that. a deer off season. Right, but it's mm. fish, it's and it's fish, like it's a fish egg, though. Yeah, yeah it's fish. people are being ridiculous. There's some people in England. Uh, shout out Andrew Parker. Uh, they who got arrested for just having sex in a car, like and, and they weren't supposed to be out of their house because they of got lockdown. A f- they got fined for fucking. Right, yeah. just just leave these Come people on. alone. Right. The real the fish punishment. egg eaters, the sex havers, just. Just the punishment alone. is having it's sex in a car. It's terrible. She's America. <laughs> yeah, they were in a smart car. All right, this one submitted by Allison Reed on Instagram, and it's a funny one. So we've covered tattoos quite a bit on the show. Our own Hard Factor Will is a big tattoo guy. Pat's already got his artist lined up for his first tattoo, mm. and we've covered a lot of tattoo stories, like the Florida man that had the state of Florida tattooed on his forehead. Yes. Uh, Remember that guy recently? Mm-hmm. Check out patreon.com slash hard factor to get Florida Man Friday weekly episodes and a ton of other bonus content on Patreon. Uh, so we've, we've we've covered bad tattoos a lot, but this is a new one. This is horribly misconstrued tattoos. Oh, I'm so glad you did this one. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. These poor <laughs> bastards got tattoos, got tattoos they thought would be cool and powerful, and it turns out they didn't think them through or ran into some bad luck. Uh, like Leah Holland from Kentucky, who went viral on TikTok for sharing her tattoo she got before the pandemic uh, that said, courageously and radically refuse to wear a mask. So, <laughs> yeah, she's so she proud is. of that that text only is. tattoo she's not proud of it bro she's yeah. mortified by it that photo was taken well, the day she got the tattoo probably she claims the message is to not wear a metaphorical mask and to always be yourself uh, and she ah. had she happened to get it no. two days before kentucky's first lockdown and is now so embarrassed but that leads me to ask then why did she post another tiktok yesterday saying suck greg abbott in texas is dick you <laughs> sheep bitches breathe for once you dummies did you, I did see you, that? Yeah. No, she didn't. She, she didn't ever. Do you think she ever wore a mask with that tattoo showing? I hope so. When I mean, she was told she had to. to have, yeah. Yeah. No, well, I read she told her, her. She's wearing long sleeves every day, bro. Like yeah, she's, she's so. She's embarrassed. Even if you, even if you hate masks, even if you're anti-mask, having an anti-mask tattoo, even anti-maskers think is fucking stupid. Well, how did yeah. you not have the foresight to understand that businesses were going to require masks she, to go in? She did it's this just, in like she did this in like April 2020. She's an she's idiot. Following her heart. Uh, yeah. She. Uh, anyways, um, anyone, everyone that she meets for the rest of her life certainly thinks she's going to, you know 
be that style of person that I just said, the Greg Abbott suck his dick thing. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. she's not alone, apparently, as a new misconstrued tattoo has emerged from 27-year-old Toronto, Canada woman, Caitlin Kenefick, who says she got was inspired by Leah Holland's coming out, and, and she got a giant Q tattooed on her upper back. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the same same symbol and style of Q that QAnon, QAnon. people use. Is their yeah. last name Quincy or something? <laughs> I mean, it's no. the QAnon Q. No. no, it's the stupidest reason for getting it. She says she got the <laughs> tattoo back in 2013 as an inside joke with a friend where they had like their own little silent language. And when they wouldn't be speaking, they would, Q, well, they, would use, they would use the letter Q to reference each other. Yeah. And um, that's why I got a fist size Q tattooed on my It is a back. large Q. It's an enormous Q. She said that around 2016, she picked up on the Q phenomenon on on the internet and she hasn't had a day of sleep yet she's been panicking for four and a half years because why did she, she get it removed uh oh, she's man. she well here you go well she says it's high enough on my neck that a t-shirt can slip down and people can see it it's actually a huge anxiety that someone can look at me and think that i'm signaling someone something to them that i'm not now all i can think of is when the world opens up i'm gonna get this giant cue removed oh yeah, so she's that's such an easy cover-up that that tattoo yeah. is the easiest cover-up i've ever seen yeah, it could turn what, into what any is, animal what it's is she a giant doing? Q, anything yeah. with a circle yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty easy. Uh, someone's a globe. gonna yeah. someone's yeah. gonna stop her from getting it removed i guarantee that what if she's the chosen one and she doesn't even know no. What like, if she what, is Q and she's yeah. throwing you off the scent? Like Neo she's in hiding Matrix. in plain sight with a giant Q on her back. <laughs> uh, Follow the white rabbit. Oh, speaking of Q, they still think Trump's about to be sworn in this week. Hell yeah. So there you, go. you got it. She she's she's probably on high alert this week. She knows that. more about Q than anyone because she's always like frantically reading like the, the, the are we all supposed to get Q? Q tattoo? She's like so worried that she Please. knows she knows all the Q things. Um let's those those were good, but let's take a few uh pictures but we can throw up of uh, other shitty tattoos i just found on the internet when i was doing this story that guy oh, checkerboard got face. a checkerboard face let's do the that's next one that's terrible yeah that's an embarrassing one <laughs> what else do we have? and everything this guy's this one's actually mcdonald's cool. order that's he got, actually badass that's though. badass he got a receipt a mcdonald's receipt with all of everything he ordered that day at mcdonald's tattooed on him that's a pretty good get? one uh, it looks like a lot of things. A big lot. order. Yeah, he was yeah. Big over. breakfast. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. He said, this is such a big order. I have to get a tattoo. That's what he did. And the next next one, let's, let's, what else we got? This guy says, never don't give up. This guy's in pretty good shape. He's flexing. So never don't give up. Double negative. So give oh, up. No. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, and then Anna got Anna tattooed in cursive with a Anal. Heart, and it says <laughs> anal. Yeah. Old mm. anal Anna. Oh, yeah. that guy, that tattoo artist knew what he was doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that cool. guy's a dick. So, yeah, a yeah. lot of times they don't know what they're doing. Like, <laughs> <I> tell you, <laughs> that guy knew what he was doing. Dude, that guy—that's so clearly anal. <laughs> you like it? Speaking of knowing what you're doing, you should be uh, joining us on Stereo, guys. Stereo app uh, at stereocom slash mark Hard Factor Will, Hard Factor Pat, or Hard Factor West and Pat Cassidy. If you join us every Wednesday and Friday afternoon. You can tell us whatever you want. You can say whatever you want, and you can just basically steer the show, shoot the shit with us. It's open talk. Uh, very, um, you know, laissez fair uh, attitude. Mm. We, we, we cut loose, especially on Fridays. So at the end of this show, I will send a sample of the last show where people called in. We interacted with them. But you should just simply go to stereo.com slash, like, our names, Hard Factor, Mark, Will, Wes, and uh, Pat Cassidy, and just subscribe to us for now. And then that way, when we go live Wednesdays and Fridays, you'll be ready. Call in, have some fun with us. Mm. Stereo app is awesome. Get on it. Download it now. All right. We're going back to China, fellas. We got another reason to ask them, what the hell, China? Because the Chinese courts have ruled, again, uh, that homosexuality can be referred to as a mental disorder in Chinese textbooks. Uh, what? That was a ruling this week. Uh, a Hong Kong social worker's lawsuit in China challenging a widely used textbook uh, that calls homosexuality a mental disorder has been rejected for a second time. So this is not just the first time this Hong Kong social worker has tried to get this taken out of the textbooks. The second time, the Chinese court has upheld the ruling that a textbook uh, description of homosexuality as a quote-unquote psychological disorder was not a factual error, but merely a quote-unquote academic view. So uh, yeah, by the mothers of gay sons in China. Well, by the was. Chinese government. Apparently, you know, these are maybe, the guys that know. these are the guys that are giving us shit for not being nice enough to people. Yes, they also said they're going to release a human rights reports on us on the on on America. And they're calling so. homosexuality a mental disorder. Correct. To, 
Yeah. We did until the seventies, I'm pretty sure. Well, right, we did. We did you know, until Pope Francis, even with. But like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. was. Well, we were. We we had uh, that gay changed in, in the eighties, I think. Two thousand and eight. Right? China's credit, though, they did remove homosexuality as a crime in the past, so they'll allow you to be gay in China, but they also can say you're crazy in academic material. So you know, not great from a country that is mm-hmm. going to publish a report about us abusing human rights. Uh, you know, a little bit hard to take you that You know what seriously. they should do? This might be a little, you know, untactful and tasteful. They should, hmm. uh, if they want to solve two problems, they should get rid of, you know, the Uyghurs making all the shoes because that's uh, everyone, that it's too hot in the streets. Everyone knows about it. And now that they have this mental disorder, they should round up all the gays that will make super fashionable shoes. And then we'll, then we'll all have awesome shoes. Think about the stitching. Yeah. <laughs> Be immaculate. Uh, in the Americas, we've got a pretty different situation going on where two Canadian men handcuffed themselves to each other on a Mexican beach. I'm not really sure why they did that. But when the cops came to arrest you know them, why. yeah, they were making they were having fun. When the cops came to arrest them uh, for making out in public, because it was just they were they were they were partying, uh, the beach rallied around them chanting, We're gay too, and then homophobia like spartacus style when the cops are trying to take these guys off the beach <laughs> bubba if you could roll that clip so the boys could see it i'm gay i'm gay too 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 So the mm-hmm. crowd surrounding the cops there who were like detaining these three. I guess Good for them. Men. Yeah, the crowd just like yeah. bullied the shit out of the cops. Someone gets too into it. He just starts sucking dick. But then yeah. like it's over. <laughs> look, look how gay I am. I'm gay too. Oh, fuck. It was yeah. like a fu- fucked up scene out of Rudy. Dude, <laughs> right. Exactly. Gay jerseys. Down. Exactly. <laughs> Carrying them on their shoulders. They put the, they put the jerseys down. No, the I'm something head. too is the thing. Uh, so I'm Spartacus. But yeah, I'm spot. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. It's, they did that, which I'm also happens to be a favorite amongst the the gays. That's a that's a big gay movie. Oh, really? Did you know? Not a shirtless Tony guy. Kirk, yeah. oh, Kirk on, Douglas. Yeah. He's looking hot. Uh, speaking of human rights, the Mexican Human Rights Commission has vowed to take a look at this arrest and see if they can do anything about it. Two pretty different approaches to homosexuality on display there from China and Mexico. The fuck, China. Yeah, what the fuck, Jenny? More what the fuck, Mexico? Because that's right across it. Like, get get it to better. No, well, Mexico's but those fine. guys, no, those guys were arrested cool. for making out. Mexico, the, the, yeah. the people on the beach were like calling the cops home. They were drunk. Maybe they were. It's like a drunk but, in public that they're getting. And, and Mexico said that you know we're not we're gonna we're gonna make sure that no, no foul play was here. We like the gays. They're supporting the gays. Whereas China's like they're all a little bit screwy, aren't they? <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 No, you could say they're crazy in a textbook. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Um, All right, guys, it is Wednesday, so we're going to do some reviews, get back into the habit of doing that. We got four voicemails, four voicemails, sorry, voicemails for you to do uh, to listen to. So first up, we're going to go with Colt. Hang on, I need to uh, get my thing back up here. What do you have there, like an external? Yeah, Wes has got some kind of new setup going on. It's a talk boy. Talk boy? What is that like a is Game that? Boy for audio? Uh, that's home not home alone. alone. It's, it's, home it's just a fucking Bluetooth speaker that's a piece of shit, apparently. So I'm just going to play it through mm. my phone. Hang on. Okay. Hey, guys. Colt here from Iowa. Uh, I know you felt bad, and I did too. But holy shit, that dog walker and Lady Gaga to be this country's next top like, comedy actor. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 I just listened to that. That's the whole voicemail. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole voice. Just love laughing at uh, the dog he's, walker. He's gonna get us in some shit. That well, was that guy, a time. Uh, that was like a slapstick act. His just, screams. Thank were, God he didn't yeah. die, so we can laugh about they it. Were, you know right. what I mean? You know how, like, yeah. on Instagram and stuff, there's a lot of people that come across our account that probably aren't huge fans of the show. They just see our posts and and. You know, some will call us cucks and some will call us too conservative. You know, like, but th- that dog walker one was the first time where they're like, "You guys are horrible humans." We like your stuff, on. but you're trash. Yeah, you guys are yeah. terrible human beings. Laughing at the person getting yeah. shot. 
Well, right. you gotta be true to yourself. I was, it was funny. Yeah, it was, yeah funny. it was funny. Those screams were funny. Also, yeah, how self aware he was that he was just kind of narrating what had happened to him. Yeah. 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 I mean, he did great. I mean, I'm glad that I, they still aren't looking for the people who shot him, which is a, a shame, but, uh, you know, yeah. he's surviving. Yeah, don't point the light of shame on us. Point it on Gaga. It's it's yeah. Yeah. Direct it where it needs to be directed. Yeah. Everybody who doesn't care that he got <laughs> shot. We, we care. Not, our, not right. our fault that the sounds were funny. Yeah. I I would shudder to think what I would sound like in the, my, the, my, oh, my audio recording sound, wouldn't be much different. <laughs> don't release the audio. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, don't release the audio. I mean, getting in there. Um, all right. Uh, here's another one. Hey, guys. Uh, this is Alan from West Virginia. I uh, just want to say thanks for keeping me awake on some of these long drives that I've been doing recently. Um, you know, once it, it looks like we're going to get the $1,400 check soon, and so my question for you guys is, what do you plan on doing with those $1,400 checks when you get them? Uh, me, I plan on buying a shit ton of food from my local area to try and uh, keep all my favorite places open mm. so that I can keep getting fatter and fatter. Uh, thanks, guys, and have a great fucking day. Okay. There you go. Uh, I like that local businesses is a good use of your Always. stimulus check. I mm. what I did with the with the first one recently because I got it on a card like way after it was sent out. Like I got it like super late. I just spent it on GameStop after the whole GameStop fiasco. So you know, Nintendo to, Switch, Nintendo Switch, mm. GameStop, and then uh, just I feel like that's sticking it to the suits extra hard using that stimmy check on the GameStop. Yeah, I mean we don't have to support local businesses too hard now in texas because they're open 100 percent um but yes I, up up until now i have been doing with that <laughs> uh what are you doing on the next one i don't know i don't know probably blowing it on alcohol uh or robin hood stocks <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get a peloton there i've been looking at him for, i've been looking up, at him really? for too long Yes, I stepped on the scale this West morning. Wes on a Peloton is going to be your, uh, fantastic. How much are the in, in motorcycle ownership and also uh, also uh, re- metal detector ownership? Reminds <laughs> me a lot anything. of the Harley. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why don't you get boots? Why don't you get metal detecting boots? <laughs> Just get surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Just get surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting surgery. Not He's yet. Not, I got one more year. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Peloton's I'm up like to like five two, grand, right? No, they're like two grand. Okay, and I can find you can find them used on Craigslist now. PFT loves it, man. He, he's people a Peloton like me. Nut. People like Peloton. I was man. turned off by, but I guess the group the group uh, vibe is pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah, I've also been looking at that mirror thing, but that's way more expensive, and I don't think I can deal with it. A fox mirror. I need. It's something. like a, it's like a Peloton for working out, though. It's like that's yeah. like yeah. the. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna. Oh, speaking of working out, though, I'm gonna restart the uh, weed workout video series with pliability moves from TB12. So it's going to yeah. be so it's going to be pliability Good. puffs. So Good. I got a new dab rig coming and I got the pliability bands. It's there you go. That's a good point. Some of my money is going to go towards my video series, too, which is baby pools. So I'm going to get the best baby pools in the market with, the, with mm. that stimmy check. Nice. Going against your advice, Mark. It. What do you mean? You, you, I thought your advice with baby pools was uh, buy this cheap kind, but well, yeah, many of them. The best seventy-five dollar ones you can right, buy. So you like can get, four, right, so you can get four of them. Yeah. You'll get a bunch. So I'm not can, getting like an above ground it. pool. It's gonna right. be it's gonna be inflatable. But yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, last one. It's a two parter from Bob the Ripper. Mm. What's up, boys? It's Bob the Ripper, and uh, man, am I glad you guys opened up the voicemails again because. Uh, Employment's been a little spotty over the last 12 months, and I was not going to be able to scrape together the, the cash for that. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to call in say I'm sticking with you guys for thick and thin. I still love the fuck out of the show. Congrats, Will. And I uh, can't wait for the little beef to pop out. But, uh, yeah, love the show. Still listen every day, and uh, keep on keeping on. All right. Bob. Love you, Bob. Bob. Yeah, thanks, Bob. For for those that don't remember, Bob the Ripper's saga uh, has played out over the voicemails over the entire like duration of Hard Factor. And Bob used to shit in his tiny office, and it created mm-hmm. a... Cost him his job. Yeah, created a bad cost situation. Cost him his job, that, yeah. that one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, but Bob, I mean, I hope you're back... You know, out of the bread line. He's uh, unemployable. It's unfortunate. <laughs> we we would take you on, brother. 
just let him play. Yeah. He, I mean, we work remote. We wouldn't have to deal with box yeah, shit. You could have true. your own bathroom. You can't <laughs> smell through the computer. It's true. Uh, he'd call back. Here, here's his second part of Bob's uh, voicemails. Okay. Hey, guys. It's Bob again. I got so excited to leave that first voicemail. I forgot my question. Um, if you could be the best at one sport in the entire world, which one would you pick? Because... Personally, I'd probably pick either UFC just because it's badass or soccer because of the global fame. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, just curious to see what you guys think. All right, thanks. Bye. Those are two good ones. you guys have any? Yeah. Those are great, but no yeah. chance I'm taking a combat sport or anything yeah. contact. I'm going tennis yeah. or golf for yeah. sure. Like the, the number one tennis player probably is like – you know, up there in the top five richest athletes at any given time. I'm looking money, at money as an athletes. Money's not a thing, guys, because you're the best at the sport in the world. So yeah, but fame too. Like so, like tennis. Like think of Federer for so many years, just unchallenged as like That's such global. a tennis so, is global. Golf so is global. many yeah. ad deals. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, tennis and tennis and golf. Like you're just you no risk of injury really. You know, uh, for for the most part. Um, yeah. And then yeah, and you're making and they they make a killing compared to a lot of other sports. Yep. I got one that you wouldn't make a killing in money, but you'd be killing some ass, hmm. and that's surfing. Oh, wow. Mm, I yeah, would like I, to be the best surfer in the world. That would be a cool lifestyle. Oh, and that would also be yeah, probably the most sharks. exciting, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you're going to die, Wes, but I mean, you're going to be king of whatever beach you go to. For, yeah, but at, if you got $400 million, dollars. no, yeah, but... I mean, just I like surfing. You're right. The surfing ass is whew, yeah. because it, it, not even the ass. Just uh, if you're the best at soccer or uh, golf or any of those sports, like being the best at it doesn't m make you rock hard. Like you just pop the blue chew. But like surfing is probably the most exhilarating sport. And if you're fucking good at it, every time's a rush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surfing. You could be like you'd be like Travis Pastrana, the guy that mm -hmm. had the. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm Except for on, on C. OK, baseball. It's Best the only baseball sport you player. can smoke while you're doing it. Uh, also, you can play until you're like pretty much full 50. Will they let you smoke anymore? In the dugout. The you can smoke in the dugout. No. In the not, MLB, no. no chance. They outlawed dip, didn't they? In, 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 like, in like the beer leagues, you can do it. I'm but... the best in the world. Uh, <laughs> the league is on my back, boys. I do what I want. That's okay. True. That's true. If they if they brought back greenies and smoking in the dugout, for sure, baseball's yeah, a contender. You don't, you don't think you could smoke while riding a wave? Yeah. Uh, you smoke a lot of weed is the best surfer. That's true. So I mean, your shit would get wet. But yeah, like if LeBron James, for example, could easily light up a smoke on the sideline, people are going to be get mad, but they're not going to be able to stop him. What are they going? <laughs> what are they going to do? He is yeah. the league. Sorry. Yeah. All right, Wes. I'm going golf. Uh, yeah, makes 100%. sense. Yeah, I'll take 100%. tennis. So golf is all yours. Yeah. Thank you, wasps. Mark and I'll be. <laughs> Kicking it up. What in real baseball's life. not a oh, and surfing aren't waspy <laughs> sports? Are you kidding? Well, I, I, <laughs> surfing is uh, is more like what like South American, Australian. I mean, it's, well, it's, like it's in Hawaii, a, it's not waspy. Hawaii, but anywhere yeah. in the contiguous forty eight, you have to be rich to I'm, afford I'm a surfboard. I'm definitely going global on my travels, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be whatever region I'm in. I'm gonna act like that. You know, I'm gonna be yeah. like a chameleon of of different uh, regions. Surfing is a good pick. Uh, mm -hmm. I just worry about the sharks and oh, yeah. you die, you die yeah. so quick. You the yeah. big big wave surfer, you're dead. Yeah. You're, you're so to, dead. I want to yeah. enjoy it. That's bullshit. Uh, you ever seen Laird Hamilton, that surfing giant? Kelly Slater, yeah, yeah. That, dude, that guy, he's like surfing like fucking like uh, tsunamis. And he's the world cool. record was just broken. Some guy rode like a 300 foot wave. Have you seen the video of that shit? It's because like only three guys attempt that. Yeah. You die. Most yeah. of the guys yeah. die, right? Right. The all, yeah, yeah. Bones are at the bottom of the ocean. Um, all right, cool. Well, that's going to do it for Hard Factor. Thank you guys very much for listening. As you can see behind me, we have our Irish St. Patrick's Day merchandise. That's a pretty sweet hat. It's got the uh, green on black. Looks very slick, kind of like what Pat's wearing on his uh, on his Adidas jacket there. It mm. looks it's a very good combination. Uh, Patreon.com slash Hard Factor. Hey, if you if if you don't want to go the full route, we got Florida Man Friday at the low tier. We got uh, you know the 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 send in the car at the top tier, but you can get some extra content by going over there and checking it out. Give Now's it a shot. the best time to do that. Beginning of the month. Yep. Lots yeah. of content on Patreon.com. Mm, absolutely. Two weekly podcasts and a monthly happy hour. Yeah, it's there pretty much go. and it's pretty much just like you're buying us a beer. So just buy right. the boys a beer. Yeah, it's a lot of free content we're delivering you. So we really appreciate you guys. Have a great fucking day.